So that square end turns this hexagonal end and somewhere inside of this mechanical magic place Hey, guys and gals, ladies and gents, lovers of freedom everywhere, welcome back to the channel. Today, today is a special treat, especially for good old Smokey here. He's getting an upgrade, and it's fancy, I'm telling you what. Uh, so Jalen, all, you all know this already, the kid just is relentless on finding cool things and you know sometimes not so useful sometimes useful but most of the time cool things on the marketplaces and the craigslists and all those things and he came across that a set of four aluminum 10 inch not eight inch factory ones 10 inch aluminum wheels with Carlisle 205 50 series 10 inch tires, two or max tires, 25 bucks. We snagged them up. Uh, the, there's, there's, there's a butt. Uh, one of the tires, the guy says, won't hold air. I, I'm not sure if they were in a, you know, maybe they went down to you know, Cletus's burnout competition with the golf cart of theirs or something. But yeah, big hole there. <coughs> if I had to guess, it just got driven way low on air for a very long time. Uh, but yeah, one of them, the tire shot. Uh, and, and then the other issue, uh, nice guy, about an hour away, had to go and drive to him. Uh, the other issue was, uh, I don't see him, but the lug nuts were metric. And our cart is old enough that it's got standard half inch thread lug nuts. No big deal because we can buy standard fine thread half inch chrome lug nuts for it, which I've done. And then we went through a little bit of a eBay fiasco. Um, and hey, you know what? rant time the fiasco was we really don't want to sink a lot of money into this we're going to have 25 dollars into the set we've got about 20 dollars we had to go spend not even that uh to get a few extra lug nuts that we didn't have in stock cleaned up and you know it's an old golf cart that it smokes and all that good stuff so who knows how long it's going to be around before it blows up and, and, you know, bottom line, we're balling on a budget here, extreme budget. So I made the decision to buy just one tire, the other three tires, good condition. This one's got way too much air in it, but for what we use it for, um, plenty of tread left. And the other two are even better than that one. So we decided to buy one. So I get on the interweb and uh, I get on Flea Bay. And I see one, reasonably priced, guaranteed get you here in four days. Um, buy it now, free shipping, four day guaranteed delivery. Uh, ordered it, I think purchased it on Tuesday. Um, and it, I didn't get a shipping notification right away, okay? Uh, pet peeve number one, if you're gonna, gonna ship something and you have a tracking number, let the buyer have the tracking number right away. But that was flag, that was a flag. Red flag number one. Red flag number two, uh, no shipping level created, anything like that, no communication. So I thought, well, every once in a while you come across one of these sellers that just ship stuff and they don't include tracking and you know, you just gotta wait, but usually everything works out. And then on Saturday morning, I think it was, either Friday evening, Saturday morning, uh, basically the day it was supposed to be here, then you get the email from that seller that says, hey, uh, there's a delay. 
there's going to be a five day delay in us obtaining your tire. So it's been four days, and now they say five more days before it even ships. And they say, oh, well, if we don't hear back from you, we'll just wait and fulfill your order. But, it, but you also have these other choices, and one of, them, one of them was to cancel the order and uh, receive a refund, which I promptly did. So the basis of this rant, I guess, and the ramblings, eBay sellers. I know supply and demand, supply chain issues, whatever else. But don't be listing items for sale, guaranteeing them in a particular time frame if you don't even own the dang thing yourself to sell yet. Come on, man. Anyway, we paid about $10 more and went back to eBay, Parts Rabbit. This gentleman, I found the listing sent him a, a message and because it was a Saturday now uh, didn't expect an answer till Monday got a message on a Sunday from this guy that says yes I have it you buy it before 10 o'clock tomorrow we'll get it to you so we bought it Sunday night he shipped it first thing Monday it's Tuesday and I got a tire parts rabbit eBay thank you brother that's how we do business, right? So that's the end of a rant. We got to get to the parts store. It's about 2.30. We're going to run to the T.O. Haas parts store and see if we can swap these real quick. And then we're going to throw them on. We got lug nuts. We got the other three. We're going to throw these on the old smoky golf cart. And uh, it's, it's going to be fancy. Back from the tire store mounted no problem at all got it done same day to haas uh tire there's a few of them in the cornhusker state here the one we use is an aurora great guys super easy to work with and they always seem to get stuff done so if you're in near aurora consider to haas for your tire needs now we're ready to install baby let's go uh I didn't mention this, but we also have dun, 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 chrome central caps. Got those, they're pretty cheap. We're gonna use those. Since we just have half inch fine thread wheel studs, we're not gonna bother trying to get uh, golf cart specific lug nuts. Uh, we're gonna use what we have, and we bought a couple more at the Irish parts store so we can get the total of 16 for this and I will you know divulge to you Jalen got a little impatient and since we only had three he had to try a couple on the front but we're gonna pull this up and uh, get it up in the air and then it rained and they got a little muddy but we're gonna get her up in the air get all four on there and clean them up and then we'll show you we'll show you the cool you know new fancy smoky the golf cart Well, I'm a dingus. Uh, golf cart. We've the thing had like 18% brakes when we got it, and we wore through those in a couple of years or less than two years. And I just figured, you know, kind of like a uh, 
Oh, it had like a centralized disc or something. The pads were wore out, whatever. I didn't even look. I haven't even checked them. I just thought, you know, after we get these wheels and tires on here, let's spring for some brakes. That'd probably be the right thing to do. It's got drum brakes. And I popped the drum off. The shoes are in good condition. And furthermore, they're adjustable right here on the back. There's this um, screw with kind of a square head on it. And you turn that in and it spreads apart the top of the shoe. I can't, yeah, I can pull this one off and show you. Here, stay there for a second. So that square end turns this hexagonal end and somewhere inside of this mechanical magic place, uh, it will, as, you t as it comes in, it's spreading these shoes apart. And we got all kinds of life on our shoes, really. So we're just adjusting on these. I think we're gonna have brakes out of this whole deal after like a year and a half of, you know, running into trees and huh, all kinds of stuff. We could have had brakes in about 10 minutes of adjustmentation. So this is a bonus. We're gonna get this fixed up, get the brakes adjusted and get fancy wheels. right rear gets the new shoe because odds are that's the one that's going to be you know smoking
Well, you know, a little bit of adjustmentation and uh, breaks for days. We've owned this cart for two years, driving it around, warning everybody that gets in it, be careful. But hey, Smokey's looking fresh, brakes are tight, I even washed the dang thing. We're going to get this video edited, doing some other stuff here in the office, trying to get caught up on the inside work, but I got to get back to the shop. So we appreciate you. Consider subscribing, click the bell, like, follow us on our socials. Thanks a lot. We'll catch you on the next one.